welcome back everybody so today we're going to be looking at this oil catcher quite straightforward design a uh, possibly a steel tin with a allen key drain port at the bottom there some filters including this filter here O-ring rubber washer there, screws up like so, and then what we've actually got an import and an output, and the whole idea is that on the Jaguar S Type R we have a uh, pipe, plastic pipe running from the PCV, the positive crank ventilation there's a little valve on the right hand bank which I'll show you in a moment and literally that pipe runs all the way from there across through the V of the V8 engine the AJ33S and then from there it enters uh, ahead of the supercharger and what happens is uh, when the engine's running clearly uh, as pressures that develop within the uh, crankcase that need to be vented otherwise that could lead to some uneven running and leaky seals and what have uh, so hence the purpose of the positive crank ventilation a concept that's been around for, for many many years but the challenge is is that a lot of the um, gases that are created within the crankcase uh, they can often just manifest as a sort of an oily mist are being vented back into the intake and what can happen particularly with the AJ33S uh, V8 engine is that this long tube that contains the oil mist and other nasties and, and it sits there for a long time and I honestly think that it's dripping down um, into just ahead of the supercharger and then when the engine starts up I think the supercharger spools and there's force sitting into the engine and can create a puff of blue smoke so hence this oil catcher uh, and the whole idea is is that i want to go and uh, mount this in the engine bay probably near where the abs system is and i'll use some proper proper heavy duty fuel grade rubber hosing connect these here and just literally integrate it into the PCV setup so I'm not replacing the PCV valve or anything like that I'm literally just going to plumb this in so that uh, rather than uh, having the gases and the oil mist go from out of the PCV valve and then go straight into the uh, back of the engine in the intake it will go via this catch can here which has a filter in it and the whole idea is that any oil acid or anything else will just be kept as a liquid in here and because this can uh, undo and there's a there's an undo release thing here as well um, it means that every so often that can be changed it can be cleaned out and so on and so forth and it just means that we perhaps uh, avoid getting the build up of or, or, or carbon whatever in in the intake before I do that I'm just going to quickly go through some of the accessories I've got here so on here as I mentioned I've got the 14 mil diameter fuel pipe proper reinforced fuel hose that's fuel grade hose there don't don't be tempted to cheapskate on that because remember we absolutely need to minimize the risk of of any fire incidents i've also got uh some of these brass adapters here again they're 14 mil diameter to allow me to join in uh the fuel hose the fuel hose with the existing uh plastic uh pipes or uh, that that comes from the pcv i've also got a series of uh, elbow uh, uh joiners here as well again 14 mil and that just enables me hopefully to do quite a smart job with the plumbing and i'll go through that in a minute i've also got some uh, ptfe tape here just to help with the threads you may notice that this isn't quite flush these aren't quite flush but there's plenty of thread on there so i use a bit of uh, this tape here the uh, ptfe tape just around there also known as plumber's tape just to ensure that we've got airtight seal here because it's really important that everything is nice and airtight 
I've got a collection of O-rings here because I will be using some O-rings just around the ends of these to make sure they're airtight. In here I've got my collection of uh, clips, all different sizes here, and I'll be following my usual trusted strategy of having a both a clip and also a Jubilee clip just around the hoses here so they're nice and secure. And there's my special pliers that enable me to use these clips here as well to secure them all in. So that's everything on there. This beastie, uh, very sharp blade here, but this can cut through uh, plastic pipes, uh, easily cut through hoses and so on and so forth. There we are. So that's now removed and that's not actually fractured the pipe, just on a clean cut, which is great. But you can see the amount of oil. I suppose that is to be expected. So what I've done here, I've got one of these 14mm diameter elbow joints, washers on both sides. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use this uh, Jubilee clip here, force that on, get it nice and tight and then do up this bit here. So what I'm going to do now is put that flush in there and I'll tighten up the Jubilee and then carry on with the uh, rest of the plumbing. Okay, so that's on. So I've got a Jubilee clip there and a clamp there on nice and super tight, nice and airtight. So um, before I proceed to put on another pipe section, I'm actually just going to turn my attention to the uh, can just here. And what I want to do is for each of these pipes here, I want to be able to put on a, just a strip of PTFE to make sure that these are completely airtight too. So I'm just going to do that next. Okay, that's them two taped up nicely. Stuff in tight. The same for the other side. Okay, so whilst that's resting in there, I'm gonna use this joint here. Got the O-rings on. I'm gonna push that into the out pipe there, run it under here. I'm gonna use this Jubilee clip to secure that. And then we just got the piping to go across to the out port, and then I'll sort out the piping for the import. So what we've been able to do now is properly locate the oil catch can. And the way I've done that is I wanted to make sure that I've got easy access to be able to unscrew the oil catch can anytime I want to. And so what I've done, I just lift this out of the way, I've actually just built up a series of uh, magnets just uh, on the side of the uh, steel bracket there and literally they are positioned such that they just hold the can in there uh, the hoses also provide some placement support and then finally when the bonnet closes we've got this insulation which just sits on top and pushes down slightly on the oil catch can Hopefully you can see here that the uh, can is sitting flush. So the next part of this is to really examine this breather hose here. You'll notice that uh, it's a smaller diameter, considerably smaller diameter plastic pipe than what we have on the PCV. So I think this justifies a smaller oil catch device on here and I think I've just got the ideal device. So this is a Epman racing parts from Italy apparently uh, and this is actually known as a, a very small oil catch can you'll see why when I get it out of the packet. So this one is a plastic vessel with a 
drain accessory there but this also unscrews as well just like the black oil catch can we have already fitted to the car see we've got some uh, in and out plugs in got some in and out plugs in there so with those removed you also get supplied a variety of different attachments so within here we should get one that fits the plastic pipe the oil breather hose there we go so you can see here we've now got a a good clean cut and now I should proceed with uh, fitting in the nozzles so you can see the kit comes with a variety of different sizes I think the largest size is around 13 mil going down into different sizes and it seems that these ones here I think are going to be the ideal fit I can see yep so that will that will screw in quite quite nicely in there and what I'll do is I'll make sure I've got a, a Jubilee clip there and also a regular clip just as I have on the other side just to make sure that everything's going to be lovely and airtight so as with before I've been able to put some uh, PCFE tape just around to help with the uh, air tightness you can see here I've got uh, clips ready and also the Jubilee clips in place as well so we'll be ready to uh, connect everything in yep that feels good that feels good uh, just to note we've got some markings on here so this will be coming from the uh, crankcase breather connection on top of the left bank and this will go through to the pipe that then goes into the intake pipe. Okay. Okay, I think I'll just try uh, tightening these up. Okay, so now we just need to uh, trial fit the supercharger covers to make sure we've not caused any problems there. That seems to be doing just fine. You can see we've got visibility of that one. I think it's all on. I think it's all on nice and tight. Well, we'll have to start the car up just to see. Uh, this is nice and firm. So we'll just check around for any leaks. So far, so good. No signs of any uh, leakage around here. Oh, if you ever want a demo on how sensitive these uh, negative pressure crankcases can be, if I just pull up the dipstick, I'll get a, a hiss of air and also the engine pitch will change. There, like that. You can hear that. There's a hissing noise now. If I just close that off, it goes back to normal. So really important that dipstick is firmly well and well seated. And then we've got all the connections here, okay. Not leaking, we're very secure. And as I say, I've already been round and tightened up all of these connections here and around on here. So I think we're good. 
go and put his cover back on. So just a couple of adjustments made with the magnets holding that so we get a little bit of an angle there to accommodate the hose. The uh, cover is now fully on. That's the end of uh, this little exercise here. I'm pretty happy with the uh, two catch cans we've now got in place. A time will only tell how much oil it captures, but I will be checking uh, both of them on a regular basis. I probably need to do a couple of hundred miles just to really see uh, what's going on there. But you know, there's no real science behind this other than to say I don't really like having oil going into uh, the uh, back of the supercharger and the air intake there because it can, um, over time, perhaps it will seem to get a little bit too oily and a little bit gunky over time. No real drama, but it's not great for someone like me who's got a little bit of OCD. There's no real scientific evidence to say that it will also improve performance. There is a theory out there that uh, uh, reducing the oil mist uh, can help preserve the octane rating of the uh, um, fuel and air going in there. There is oil mist that could get through with the old setup and could potentially dilute the octane rating. The idea being that these catch cans could actually remove that and so improve the octane rating slightly, maybe a little bit more power. Who knows? There's no real evidence. But even if it means it stops oil going into uh, the intake, then I'll be quite happy with that. So. There we are. Well, thanks very much for watching. Hope you may have found this of interest. Um, plenty more videos coming along soon.